Thank you so much for watching the Bunkies YouTube channel where we talk about home automation, home surveillance, and other gadgets and stuff that come along with being in a home. My name is John and today we're talking about doorbells. Now video doorbells are all the rage right now. There are tons of products you can get. Uh, some of them are quite expensive and honestly some people don't want a video doorbell but they do want a smart doorbell. So we found a way to add a dry sensor ultimately to tell us when someone is at the door. So how I like to do it is I already have a camera on the door and it's recording any kind of motion. Now the camera doesn't necessarily give the best notifications of um, when someone's there. Maybe I'll get a cat walking by, I'll get leaves blowing in the wind, or some other anomaly that makes the camera trigger a notification. So to combat that, I added a dry sensor to my doorbell. Now my doorbell is super old. I have no idea when it was made. It has a mechanical chime. You'll see it in a minute. Basically when you ring the door, a spring-loaded chime or a bar goes up and down and hits the chime and makes the ding-dong sound we're all used to. Now I didn't want to go out and get a new doorbell if I didn't have to, so I kept the same doorbell and added this dry contact sensor. So if you don't know, a dry contact sensor usually has two leads or two wires that come out the top and either when they touch or something makes them touch. In this instance, I have two and then the chime just swipes across the top and comes down. It then notifies me via Z-Wave. Now I'm using a older SmartThings hub, so the first generation hub. When that swiping happens uh, between the chime and the dry contact sensor, I get an immediate notice on smart things notification. Now I can get notices other ways, but I'm gonna try to keep this pretty simple. So I'll show you the box and the doorbell and how it's set up, and I'll also show you the front. All right, so as you can see, I have an ancient old doorbell system. So nothing fancy about this. It's actually turned yellower than it has before. And when I ring it, I get that notification saying someone's at the door. All right, the doorbell. Now, it might not be as ancient as I thought it was, but it does seem to be pretty ancient. Um, up at the top here, you see the dry contact sensor and then two little wires. And when I pull this off of here, you can see how I have this wired up. So this is really simple in that, here, let me put this down. Let me focus. Right here, just that little flake, the wire is hitting. This is the front door. This is for the back door, but we don't actually have a back door um, doorbell. There's no need for that, but there it is. Additionally, I could have hooked it into here onto those screws, but I actually have it. When this thing bounces up and down and makes that ding dong noise, it hits that red wire, which notifies um, smart things. So if I push this down, you see the red light there on the top left of the white box? That is notifying me via smart things that someone is at the door. If this was helpful in any way, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Additionally, I'd love to hear your comments below if you have any questions or if you've used this or if you have any other automation ideas because there's lots of different ways to do the same thing. And lastly, hit that red subscribe button to see more tutorials, tech videos, reviews, and ideas just like this. Thank you so much for watching.